Okay, so members, welcome. To this lesson today, I'm going to see how do we get the area of the following figures or objects. But please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Now, the area we need to know that the area of different objects is going to be different depending on the dimensions we have. Now, if I'm start, I start with the circle, the circle first of all, it has the radius, it has the diameter, and then what we call the circumference. This is the circumference. So, from the center to the circumference, that's what we call the radius. And our area of the circle is always pi r squared, where pi can be 27, 22 over 7 or 3.14 to 2 decimal presses. So, depending on what the question gives you, is what you use as your pi. So here, we are going to use pi as 22 over 7. When I put here, where I said my radius from here is 7, when I put here 7, but squared, then 7 squared the same way, 7 times 7, that's why I'm expanding. Then this 7 here is going to cancel with the 1 7, so then this and this I get 152. Or is our area is measured in square units. They are meters, meters squared. Centimeters, square units, square, and so on. That's how we get the units of the area. When I come to the rectangle, the rectangle has two sides. There's what we call the length and then the width. The length is the longest and then the width is the shortest of the two. Then, call the shorter side. Then, our area, we have a rectangle, is always length times width. So, from here, you can see our length is 5, then the width is 3. Just copy this and you see 5 times 3 to get your 15, and then the units are there. When I come to a square, the square is almost like a rectangle, but this time around, the length and the width are equal. So that's why this side is equal to this, equal to this, equal to this. But here, these two were equal, but these two also, these two were equal, but this was not equal to this. That's the difference. So here, all sides are equal to the square. So in simple terms, then also the length, I mean the area, we shall get this length and this length or the side. This represents the side. So S times this because our length is the same as the width. That's why it's that here we have the same, here we have the same. Which is S squared. So if our side is 4, then that this is also 4 because they are equal. 4 times 4 you get 16. Then we come to a trapezium. A trapezium has two shapes. Can we add in this and also this? But the formula is the same. What changes is the length of this side or for the side of it. The only thing that changes. Now, if we have this, we start, we have this and this. Now, the difference here is when we have this, this one is going to be having a shorter length, but this one is going to be having a longer length compared to this if all of them are the same. So here we can call it all the base. So this is called A, this upper length is called A, then this downer length is called B. So our form is going to be a half, then this length plus this, then type is the height, the height is this from here up to here. Substitute in the R formula, 3 plus this is 7, this 2 cancels with this, so it's at our 2 here, what's with that? So it's R7, then square units. When you come to this, square now from here up to here is longer if you compare the two. So if this is main is my b, this is my a. Putting in the formula, you have 3 plus 5, this and this they cancel, and you have your area as centimeters squared. Then when I come to a parallelogram, a parallelogram you know is a cross rectangle. So this side and this are parallel, then this is part of this. Then from here up to here is our height sign and when we have the height, we can't push the width, we have the height. So always our area is going to be this base and this height. So our base here is 36, our height is 3 centimeters, putting it there, that's the answer you have. When you come to a rhombus or a kite, the area is very easy. This one is what we call these two, are what we call the diagonals. So this is diagonal one. This is diagonal 2. So if from here up to here it is 5 centimeters and from here up to here is 4 centimeters, it means that to get the area, you get a half the product of these two diagonals for area or number. So, so that from here up to here is 5, then from here up to here is 4. Please don't take this to be 5 on the norm. And always, this one is equal to this and this is equal to that. So then, 
put him in the formula, this would be 20, half of 20, you get 10. Then the Amene formula, when you come to a triangle, the Amene formula that you can use, formula that you can use to get the area of a triangle, depending on what is given. But because we are, we are just starting, there is also a formula where we use the trade part. But I'm not going to include there, I'm just going to be adding the obvious one, where you just need to do it even if you have not covered trigonometry. So this one is called the right angle triangle. If you have a right angle triangle, or it's our area, is our half times best than its height. Our base is here, so this is what we call our height. The same idea, this triangle, if we have this triangle, and this is the right angle triangle, and this is the right angle triangle, the formula doesn't change. It's always a half times best than its height. Just that always this space is going to be longer compared to this base, because this one is having two right angle triangles. That's how you get that. This two goes into a four, two times seven, that's why I'm getting 14. Now, when we have, when they give us only the sides, they give us this side, they give us this side, they give us that side. So here, we use this formula, and just get, if this is A, B, C, what we do, we get S. How do we get S? S is the same length of the sum of all the three sides. So we get S by summing A plus B plus C. So if they give me this as 4, 3, 5, I start by getting this S. So this S is so I add the sign plus this plus this. When I add them, I get 4 divided by 2, I get 6. So then substituting into this formula. So that S is 6 from here. Then 6 minus N by A is 4. Then S, which is 6 minus 3, which is my B. Then S minus C, minus C is 5. So we will get this 6 times, when you subtract this one, you get 2. When you subtract this one, you get 3. When you subtract this, you get 1. And the product is that this times this times this, we get another 6. And square root of 36, we get 6. But don't forget that or is the area is measured in the same way as square root of square units. So that's it, members. We are going to see now how we get a volume. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I wish you the best.